Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling page. Today we're going to be looking at creating this um, journal layout, looking at using lots and lots of face stencils. So I'm starting out on a page in my craft journal which already has a little bit of um, paint on it, so I'm just using it up. I decided that I wanted to do a little bit of collage in the background just to add some interest and sort of blend the page together. So I knew I wanted to do a double page on this and I went for it with my collage bits. So I'm just tearing up this some of the um, vintage ledger paper from Dina Wakeley. Um, it sort of comes in all different shapes and sizes and colours. I just liked the sort of vintage vibe. It kind of blends in nicely with the craft paper in the background. Now originally I had actually intended to have some of the craft paper showing through but it didn't quite work in the manner I um, imagined um, in that way. I actually really liked the layout in the end but um, yeah I sort of thought outside the box a little bit. So to vintage it all down a little bit I've just used a little bit of the syrup paint over the top. It's a really warm brown colour. It's, it acts like a glaze over the top. I then wanted to put in some of that gold because I actually really liked the gold that I had on the page originally. So I decided with this script stencil I would just go through and add a little bit of um, masking to the middle just to sort of tie it all together. So I sort of got the script at the bottom and the vintage and then I've got this piece of script through the middle as well. I also, because I had a little bit of gold left and I don't like to waste paint, decided to put it around the edges as well. So when I had this idea, I did want to put a large um, face stencil on my page. This is one by Janine Oliver, I think. And I decided to stencil it in blue. Um, I thought the blue and the sort of ochre colours in the background would work out quite well. It's quite a dark blue, it's called Night. So I'm only using a little bit um, and just stenciling away. So for those of you who are new to stenciling, I'm just using a um, wedge makeup sponge, putting a little bit of um, paint on the sponge, but actually you'll notice me dab it a few more times. So I actually work the paint into the sponge so there's no paint sitting proud of the sponge and then dab up and down instead of swiping. Once I've finished, I'm just using a blue Stabilo oil pencil to go over some of the painted lines, join up any of those lines that are broken. And then with a wet brush, I'm just water activating that um, Stabilo oil pencil. If you didn't have that um, and you wanted to do something similar, you could certainly stencil through the image with some um, dye-based ink like a distress ink for example and then just touch your paintbrush to the edges and get that sort of wash coming out of it as well so if you didn't have the Stabil oil pencil to give you that wash effect use what you have got around you otherwise you could go in with maybe watercolors and do a watercolor um, thing in the background as well I also decided I wanted to just push this out from the background a little bit so I'm going in with a black Stabil oil pencil to give a little bit of a shadow around my image now at this stage, this is as far as I'd sort of thought with this page. I had this idea that I was going to have the collage in the background and have this image. And my original thought was I was going to put like a big quote on the other page. But as I was doing this, I was actually really enjoying playing around with the face. And while I was looking for this large face, I actually pulled out all my other face stencils and they were sitting next to me. And I thought, well, why, why not? have a go at using those as well in your artwork. So you see my different colours to be like all pencils who are getting a, a run for their money. They do come in different colours. I know mostly you see the black, but you've got a red, green, orange, yellow, blue. There's a graphite one and a white one as well. Um, obviously, if you've got watercolour pencils, it would do the same job. I just have these. I quite like them, how they work. So I've got a really soft wash of colour over the top of my stenciled image. I also had this stencil that had unfinished on it and I really love that word unfinished because it's something that really resonates with me because I feel we're all a little unfinished, we're all a, a work in progress. So these are the, the face stencils I've got. You can see I've got quite a few. One of the things I love about them is you can sort of swip, swip and swap them, flip and swap them around so that they fit into where you want them to go. Because I didn't want this to be too dark in the background, I'm actually using a Payne's grey colour. 
to stencil it in the background. So you can see it's not quite as dark as a black. It's sort of like these ghostly figures sitting in the background and it sort of pushes it into the back. And all I'm doing is just going through and um, stenciling really quickly into the background. Um, where they don't have sort of the tops of the heads, I'm kind of putting a little bit of um, stenciling in just to sort of fill in those little gaps. It's not really necessary because they're sort of all going to be sitting on top of each other anyway, but you can sort of get the impression of where they're going. Even in the smallest gaps too, I'm going in and popping in faces. So it just looks like this crowd. And that's sort of what was sitting in my back, in the background of my head as I was doing this. I am very much an overthinker. I have very much a chorus of voices in my head when I do things. Um, and I kind of like to think of them, you know, as just these people sitting on my shoulder telling me what I can and what I should and shouldn't be doing. Now, if you are repeating stencils and you have got paint on one side, it is a good idea to wipe it off so you don't transfer the extra paint into your journal. The paint that I'm using, I'm using a very little bit, so it is not very wet, but it's still probably a good idea just to make sure that it's, you're not transferring bits and pieces where you need to. So you can see here how I'm doing partial stenciling. So I am just fitting in around where I need to on my page just to get this um, crowd of people behind my focal image. One of the things I do like to do with all my stenciled faces and collage papers, whatever I'm doing, is to always go back in and add the whites of the eyes and the little catch-alls in the eyes. And it just brings the images to life, even if they are very abstract. Just by doing this little bit, it sort of makes it seem more realistic. And the reason for that is to read something as a face, our eyes look for eyes first. So if the eyes are a sort of a focal point, that's where... Um, our brains are naturally going to focus on as well. Just to finish off any of my little images, I just needed to get my spill or pencil in and draw that. Now I'm going in with that stencil, the unfinished stencil, and doing this in white over the top. Now I don't mind stenciling over the top of my face in the background. I've kind of picked a bit where I'm not actually stenciling over anything important. It's kind of through their hair, but even if I did, these are sort of background images. It was just to fill in the rest of the space. So I don't mind that my quote is actually there. I finished this off by just adding above the words unfinished, we are all a little unfinished, which um, sort of gave that word a bit of a point for being on the page. So here's a close up. You can see all the different layers of stenciling, how they all sit on top of each other. With the words, I just went in with a black pen as well and put a little bit of a, a drop shadow on it just to help finish them off. So I hope you have a go at playing around with this. Lots and lots of fun, especially if you've got lots of face stencils. If you didn't have face stencils, you could certainly do something similar with face stamps or collage papers and so on. It's just about creating that crowd in the background. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.